Hello and welcome to another little sneak peek behind the scenes of my next directorial venture. Now that the Alexander Player's most recent production is now over, I think I can safely reveal the name of the production that I have been planning for the last few months. Following the most amazing experience I had last year directing The Deep Blue Sea by Terence Rattigan, uh, my next directorial project will be a fabulous little play called Harvey by Mary Chase. I am a huge fan of the film which starred James Stewart and just like last year, as soon as I read the script, I knew we had to do it and that I had to direct it. For anyone who has never seen the film or the play before, it's a, it's a, it's a lovely little film about a chap called Elwood P. Dowd who happens to have an imaginary friend that is a six foot, one and a half inch tall puka or rabbit. Um, Elwood introduces his friend pretty much to everyone he meets, much to the embarrassment of his sister Vita, who in turn tries to have him uh, admitted to a sanitarium for treatment. The video you're about to watch I actually filmed a few weeks ago uh, when I was preparing some boards that I had been given uh, by Chris who is a member of the Central uh, Charlton Residents Association uh, in Charlton. His mother used to paint as well and rather than that just dispose of the boards at the local amenities he was actually offering out to other artists in the area so I took him up on the offer and brought home quite a, quite a few boards. So uh, again thank you Chris for the boards. As you will see they came in very handy. This particular board was just the right size for a painting that I need of Elwood's deceased mother, uh, Marcella Pinney Dowd, uh, which I need to hang over a fireplace on stage on the set. Um, I, oh, I really hate painting over things, uh, especially when it's somebody else's work. Um, it's, a, it's an absolutely dreadful feeling, but um, I, I did find it amazing that out of all the boards I brought home, um, this one just happened to be the right size, but had a gentleman painted on it that looked considerably like James Stewart. I, I thought he looked like James Stewart anyway. Um, and of course he played the character in both the movie and on, and on stage later on in life. So I, I thought that was just a, a, an amazing coincidence. Now I must stress, although I used a picture of Maggie Smith, it was only really for reference. Um, I didn't really want the painting to resemble her too much. Um, I just thought it captured perfectly the stance and cantankerous character of Elwood's mother, uh, who Elwood himself doesn't really seem to think too fondly of. Um, there's a part in the play where he brings home another painting uh, to hang in her place um, over the fire. So it was just mainly, I saw the picture of Maggie and it, it just screamed out to me that that was the look I was aiming for. So. Um, although I'm using the picture, it's not supposed to look like Maggie Smith, although I, I was slightly disappointed by the end of it that it didn't look like Maggie Smith. Um, so I may do, um, I may actually try and do a portrait of Maggie Smith at a later date, but uh, for now, just check out the video. Here's how it turned out. Here is uh, the painting that I'll be painting over. Really don't like painting over other people's work, but um, the board is just the right size, but as you can see, he does look a little bit like James Stewart in his later years.